Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, we're going to show you how to use ChatGPT to make prompt templates for Adobe Firefly, Midjourney, Stable Diffusion, or whatever other image, uh, generative image generator you're gonna be using. This is something I've made here recently, this image just here, um, that was from Adobe Firefly. Still got a few minor issues, but it's actually come out pretty good. Um, it's still in beta, so it's kind of like Midjourney was early on, so expect it to get better with time. So we're going to be using Adobe Firefly and ChatGPT today. So in order to use this process, you're going to need to have access to both. So we'll jump straight in. We're over in ChatGPT now. I've entered this stuff in earlier to save a bit of time, but this is essentially what you need to do. So first you need to create a little template. So this is what we're using here. So something like this works really well. So basically an image of adjective, subject, doing action, dynamic lighting, detailed, realistic, ultra HD, trending on art station in the style of a famous movie, science fiction movie, and famous artist. So all we've done here is we've put these within brackets and this allows ChatGPT to change these subjects specific to what you've actually put with inside. So it will use this to create a random adjective, random subject, doing a random action with random dynamic lighting, and it will replace those with different variables. So as you can see here, it explains what it's going to do using this formula we've uh, created. Once we've done that, we can go through now and we can request to use that prompt with a different style. So with that prompt, now write five prompts for Adobe Firefly using the prompt with the theme Blade Runner. So it's gonna use this exact prompt here, but use the Blade Runner theme for it. So it's gonna replace all the things we've got within brackets and give it a Blade Runner theme. So here are some of the examples it's generated. So we can just copy these straight across into Adobe Firefly, Midjourney, whatever you're gonna use and see what kind of results we're gonna get. So. As I said earlier, Adobe Firefly is quite new, but we're gonna play around with it anyway. I've got a couple of other videos if you wanna have a look at those. So here we are in Adobe Firefly. Just jump into the text image generator, click generate. So here at the bottom is where we can enter the prompts. So at the moment it's English only, but we're just gonna copy, copy our prompt from ChatGPT. Click generate. This will take a little bit of time. Okay, so we've got our base image here. And we have a few different options on the side. So we're gonna change things up a little bit. So it always defaults to the aspect ratio of square, but you can change it to whatever you like. Um, we will try portrait for this. Landscape's probably better though, looking at the request. We'll try a portrait one first. Okay, portrait's not too bad. So that's what we've pulled so far from our little prompt here from ChatGPT. I'll just highlight it so you can see it better. Now we've got a few different options here. I've gone through this in another video, but we'll just look through it quickly again. So here, the content type, there's four different types. You can switch to art, photo, none, or graphic. I find photo and art are probably the best two. Here, um, just like mid-journey with weighting certain things and adding sort of different uh, weights to items, you've got options here in styles. So we'll change to all. So you can add things like, say, cyberpunk, hyper-realistic, and they add tags to weight the image to those sort of preferences. Below that, we've also got color tone, lighting, and composition. So we've put a request in here for some lighting stuff. So we're gonna try and match that anyway. So we're gonna go vibrant color, uh, dynamic lighting, and composition. You've also got some options here. Um, we'll leave it default for now, but something with a wide angle would probably work quite good with this image. Um, now we'll click generate and see if it will shake things up a little bit. Okay, a few little minor changes, nothing really crazy just yet. So another thing you can do in here, so once you get something that looks really good, so these two here I quite like, we can go either download it, you can use it as a reference image. So if you click options here, use as a reference image, this will bring up a sort of a base image that you can use for all future renders. So by default, it will start on sort of balanced, but if you slide it to the left, you can put more emphasis on the reference image. You can slide it to the right to put more emphasis on your prompt. So that will allow you to get some changes through this. So for now, we'll just leave it at this because we're gonna go back over to ChatGPT now and we're gonna try a different prompt that generated. Here's what we've got so far. So we're gonna request again, Let's just copy this with the theme. Change our theme to Harry Potter, because everyone loves Harry Potter. That's our original prompt working again with the theme of Harry Potter and all our variables. So we're gonna see what this generates. Okay, so here we have our new list of options. Uh, I'm gonna pick something. 
I can't see Adobe pulling this one off actually, but we'll see. Maybe in future versions. So we will drop off our tag. So we'll get rid of Cyberpunk. Um, we'll keep the others and we'll see what it does. Uh, we'll change it to widescreen and it will generate. Okay, that actually turned out way better than I thought it was going to turn out. Not so much because of the prompt, but because Adobe Firefly is quite early in its uh, beta. So to get a result like this first try is not too bad. So we'll try what happens with photo. Okay, that didn't change too much. So we'll go back over to ChatGPT now and I'll explain one more thing, then we'll wrap this video up. We'll go back to the top here. So for our original template, you can change any of these things in brackets. So you can change doing action to something like specifically jumping, change the subject to a specific subject. Uh, you can change any of these to something different. You might want to have three or four different artists uh, merged here. So you might do famous artist one, two, three, four, five. Um, ArtStation is one that most people are using these days because ArtStation is quite an artistic website. So it's probably something you can use, but again, you don't have to have that in there. Um, these here usually work quite well. doesn't matter what platform you're on. Um, it's always good to add something with lighting. So you could add studio lighting in here. Uh, neon lighting, cyberpunk lighting, whatever kind of lighting you want. But again, yeah, just experiment with the template. So once you've got your base template in, just make sure you use this here at the top for ChatGPT. That way it understands that this is what you want. Then you can use it for future prompts. Anyway, that wraps up this guide. I hope you found it useful. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some of the other videos for Adobe Firefly. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you in the next video.